going on YouTube. I don't know if y'all seen this movie yet. Really, uh, it's a really, it's a really interesting movie. Uh, I mean, if you clicked on the video and some kind of weird way you didn't see that it says spoilers and for some reason you still don't see that it says spoilers there's going to be spoilers in there um but it was you know overall it was a very interesting movie on a scale of one to ten um uh, uh, for, for my taste um I would give it a I would give it a seven because I'm gonna just let you know right off the top everybody dies in this movie except for one person uh Um, I had a problem with the um, the uh, the new girl uh, when she died because I, I I didn't think that she just had I didn't think that she had to die you know uh, that I wish that they could have found a way you know to get the um, you know get all the the bombs out of the back of their heads you know but um. Just a little info from the, uh, you know, from the movie. Um, I, I suggest that if you really just want um, a metaphysical, um, deep insight type of review, uh, Umar Johnson gives a great um, a review of the movie. Uh, link will be in the description box. Um, uh, but uh, I'm not going to be going that route. I'm just going to be, you know, coming from an emotional, you know, point of view, from a fan's point of view, um, what I liked and what I didn't. But um, starting off, I think um, what, 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 um, what I didn't like was how they... Um, how they wanted to force you to um, to learn each character at the uh, at the at the very at the very beginning. Um, you know, it's like another it's like another day at the office. You know, and um, everyone is um, you know everyone is mingling with. It with each other, everyone's talking, everyone's having fun, you know, um, it, you know, and, and it, it's, I understood why they did it, you know what I'm saying, to make, um, you know, to make the movie a little bit more, um, uh, what would you call it, um, I guess more emotional, it would make the death seem um, more emotional. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, I guess it was the way that it was done. I think that it could have been done better. Um, and because the movie, the movie is like an hour and, and uh, 20 minutes or an hour and 30 minutes long. And, um, uh, That it, it could have been it could have been extended, you know, especially that scene because um, the a lot it was it was more it was like it was kind of cut and dry because when it came to those uh, those scenes where those, where it seemed like those people were gonna die, you know. Uh, it it really didn't make me feel any kind of way. The only person that I felt sorry for that died was the girl that had just started working there, you know, because it was her first day, you know. But um, you know, every every other death, you know, it, it the the movie. I mean, even though I 
you know, uh, because Umar even says in his review that everybody dies in there except for one person. You know, but even though you you know that um, that someone is going to die, that well, that everyone is going to die, it is the way that these people are killed in this movie that that really makes you it makes you kind of cringe because um, you have to you know I, I kept in mind that a lot of these people have families. Everyone's situation is different. Um, because there was a scene in the movie, uh, really like the, really like the best scene in the entire movie where, um, where the boss from, uh, from, from, from Ghost with, uh, Patrick Swayze, um, he has everyone, uh, you know, divided so that you know the way that he could kill them would be would be easier you know i mean he didn't want to do it but he he felt like he had to because he wanted to get back to his uh his family um uh but he separates them uh from those who have children under the age of uh 18 uh they are to get on one side of the room and then there are those who are um <clears throat> um, ages 60 and 60 and older you know they were to get on another side of the room and you know once he got them once he got them separated he just with the bussing you know but um yeah um I think I, I think I skipped over something yeah um like right when the um you know when the uh situation started to take place um the the person over the loudspeaker uh you know they told him that you know y'all have to kill two people or we're going to kill four people um in 30 minutes and a, a lot of the people just thought that it was a uh, they thought that it was it was a joke you know which you know came to find out that it wasn't you know, so, you know, these people, they, you know, they thought that they was getting shot, but they was actually getting their heads blown from the inside, you know, and it took, uh, Mike to remember that, uh, when they got hired, they put, they implanted something in the back of their heads and Mike tried to, to take his out with the box cutter and, um, you know, the, the man got back on the loudspeaker and he, you know, and he did a countdown, you know, saying, uh, you know, put the, you know, drop the, drop the knife or, you know, we're going to blow your, you know, we're going to blow your head up. So, you know, he ends up, uh, you know, dropping it or whatever, uh, you know, skipping back forward to the, uh, you know, after the scene where, uh, the boss kills his, uh, his, uh, coworkers, well, his, uh, you know, employees um now the new girl that I tell you about uh like once everything jumps off man she, she's been hiding away from danger through the entire through the entire movie and she, she comes upstairs and she, she sees the boss killing these people and she thinks, you know, that the only way that I have to stop this is if I cut off the electricity because she was in the in the basement the majority of the uh, movie. Um, and she went she went back down to the basement, hit the electricity, and that saved the last remaining people, you know, that uh, that he would have killed, you know, had she not hit the electricity. But um, Yeah, once once she hit the electricity, man, everything just went crazy. You know, um, a lot of people they were they, you know they were running for their lives, and you had these you know the guys who had decided to um, to kill you know the people. It was just four of them, um, you know, that decided you know what maybe killing would be the best you know the you know the best way for us to get alive, get out alive, and get back to our families. But, um, you know, they, they went on a killing spree or, uh, no, 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 let me, let me take that back. Um, uh, 
after the people ran for this for their safety or whatever, uh, the guy got back on the loudspeaker and he said, "What did he say?" Yeah, he said, "I think that they killed like 28, 29 people uh, because they had to kill thirty. Uh, and if they wouldn't have killed thirty, they would have ended up killing sixty people." And what the guy said was, you have to kill uh, one more, two more people in order to make your um, your 30 count quota. And, um, you know, if, if they didn't, they were going to kill an additional 30 people. And that was that was crazy. Um, once once that happened, you know, uh, everyone was trying to. You know, uh, everyone was trying to get a kill. You know, and and it just it no one no one just really killed anybody. So he killed an additional thirty people. Um, you know, which left um, you know Mike, his girlfriend, the uh, the girl that was just hired, uh, the faggot. What uh, shit? Why did I have to say faggot? The gay guy. Um, and you know some some other some other uh, you know people or whatever. Uh, but uh, the guy gets back on the last we got that and says whoever has the most kills, you know, is is the one who's going to get out of this alive. You know, and uh, after that, it was every man for himself. The gay guy he got smushed by the elevator. Um, the new girl. You know, she was she was with him. You know, they were in the elevator shaft, and he jumped down too late, and he ended up getting smushed. And you know, after after that happened, she waited for the elevator to go down to get inside the elevator. Elevator was coming up. Elevator opens up, and she gets shot in the head. Um, now. Uh, some way Mike's girlfriend ends up getting shot um, and I rewinded that I want to say I want to say I rewinded that about two or three times to see how she got shot but I, I didn't see it I mean if you um, you know if y'all seen it let me know that in the comments uh, but I mean, I didn't see anything, but you know, standoff time now. You know, it's the fight between uh, Mike and, and his boss. They are the last two standing. They are the last two, you know. Uh, and you know, the fight it ends up to where you see the uh, the movie poster. I don't know if you've seen the movie poster, um, but uh, he. He kills his boss with a tape uh, machine. <laughs> I, I think that's what you would call it. I, it was. I know I've seen tape, but what it was in, I, I've never seen tape in anything like that. So, I, I mean, I thought it was a stapler machine, you know, at first. But, he, you know, it, he kept smashing his face in with a tape machine uh, so he ends up winning and um, and the uh, the government decides to let him out and he goes to see you know the guy who was behind it all uh, matter of fact I forgot that because this right here is a, a, another important part as well um, there was there was two guys through the entire movie, they were like the uh, the conspiracy theorists of the entire movie. You know, they were thinking that there was something in the water that was making them going crazy. But after everyone would die, they would um, get the bombs out of the um, out of the dead people's heads, and. Um, the, the bombs got to the girlfriend and the girl gave the bombs to Mike and Mike still had the bombs now I'm telling you, you're going to forget 
about those bombs. I forgot about the bombs until this part. So, uh, the the guards, uh, the soldiers who bring Mike out, you know, they take him to this uh, this building. Now, this guy has been in this building through the entire movie, through the entire movie, you know, and. Uh, you know that was something that just fascinated me because I I was thinking that it was something that was being done from not that damn close to the build. I mean, like he was like right in the not even in the parking lot. He was like right next to the building. You know, uh, you know, killing everybody or whatever. But you know, Mike meets him. Um, you know, he tells him you know why he did what he did and you know what you know uh, that it was a it was an experiment. You know, and that it was only for only for collecting data, you know, and whatnot. And I hope that there's a part two because I, you know, I I, I understood it from how uh, Umar explained it, but I still think that there were holes that uh, that really needed some some dire explanation. Uh, but you know, that's that's my own personal opinion. <clears throat> uh, but uh, so they're trying to get you know Mike to a uh, answer these questions, but Mike is, you know, he's so fucked up from the experience, you know that um, you know he wants to know what was going on, why it was going on, but you know they wouldn't answer his questions, and I forgot what 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 happened next, but um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he said, uh, are you able to see everything on these cameras? And he was like, uh, yeah, we see everything. We saw everything. And um, he said, I guess you didn't see the part where we had got, where I had got those bombs. And uh, the the guy that was over the experiment, um, he said, well, what, where are those bombs now, Mike? And Mike said, I put them on every single last one of y'all when uh when I came in. And he he flipped the switch on all the bombs and he took them out. And the the <laughs> the guy that was over the experience the experiment, uh he asked Mike uh, a question. How did he ask him that question? Um yeah, like right, but right before he died, like like right before Mike opened up on him, uh, he said, "So uh, the best way to describe your situation is that you are an appreciator of life, or something like that." It's the way that he said it. It was kind of funny, but you know, it it put it out there. You know, what I'm saying that, um, in my opinion, that there's still all good people out there. You know, wish there are. You know, uh, there's still some good-hearted people. You know, not everyone is um, not everyone is uh, malicious and out to uh, get something, and not everyone is uh, going to turn their back on the people that you know that they not not necessarily love or, or care for. But you know, uh, Mike. You know, throughout the entire movie, he was just an appreciator of life. He he didn't like death. The only reason and the only person that he killed in the entire movie was his boss because his boss killed his girlfriend. But, um, yeah, man, and, you know, once it goes off, you see that a lot of people, you know, um, finish, the, uh, finish the experiment around the same time, and this was something that was going on around the world. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's, the, that's pretty much the entire movie in a nutshell. Um, and, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.